right here in Florida, they plan to teach students that enslaved people benefited from slavery. Kamala Harris got on a jet at taxpayer expense and flew to Florida to lie about the African-American history stands. When the left lies and creates these phony narratives, you've got to push back. You know, there's too many of us for you to pull that BS, sir. <laughs> you can't bend the knee to the left's lies. When the left lies and creates these phony narratives, you've got to push back. They've been doing this to Republicans for years and years. Republicans bend the knee, and it's just one thing after another. Second, we, this goes into the whole fight on indoctrination in schools. We eliminated critical race theory a couple years ago. When we did that, the media lied and the left lied, saying, you don't want to teach about African-American history. Of course, this is true. Yes, welcome back. Ron DeSantis recently had this interview on Fox News addressing Kamala Harris, pertaining to black history curriculum in Florida. Whoopi Goober immediately attacked him. I don't know if you saw that segment. It has reached a certain point sometimes when I'm doing this video concerning this issue of slavery, I actually feel a tie because I believe this is not a topic we should be going back. I don't know, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. There's too many of us for you to pull that BS, sir. <laughs> There's too many of us who actually, you know, you know, those are the lies that you've created, you know. There are special people from time to time that we talk about, you know, who have done amazing things, came out of slavery, and were able to break a barrier. That wasn't 99% of folks, mm -hmm. sir. There are enough black people in your state who could actually teach you what happened because their grandparents and the great grandparents, they spread all these stories for us so we would know. Because y'all weren't writing them in the books. So let's not fool around with this. Because as she said yesterday, Kamala Harris said yesterday, Vice President, by the by, <laughs> said yesterday, why are we re fighting this. This happened. We know it happened. We are the products of what happened. So what are you talking about? Who's lying? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he, it would be, he, he's kind of like, he doesn't want the black vote because he knows he's never going to get it. So, he, right. you know, he, he says a lot of racist things. This is just one of them. I'm aware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I think that, you know, he's all about the anti-woke. Let, let's get the anti-woke anti people. means... Yeah. You know, whatever black people are talking about, they don't, you shouldn't be listening to what happened. But the history is the history. Yes, taking a look at what is going on here, they even went further to say, Roger Santos is doing all this because he cannot get the black vote. Remember something, Roger Santos is not running, you know, for these primaries, you know, just to get all the white people to vote. You know, the whole country, if he venture to be the nominee now talking about slavery whoopi goober sometimes sounds like someone that doesn't even know what is going on you are a product of this because ron the scientist said kamala harris lied about the curriculum he did not decline that slavery didn't happen it happened and what kamala harris said was actually not what is happening I understand when you look at that curriculum and the single line that is written there where they talked about this issue of slavery, you know, it was like selective teaching, like, you know, you should choose a certain portion. You should not teach all students about what happened partaking to slavery. Then that line say they benefited from slavery by learning trade, which is something I really don't want to go there because I've had a lot of debate with people. Some say black people did not benefit from slavery. Some say they benefited from slavery because they had to learn something which to me it benefited them. Slavery was not a good thing. We all know and we condemned it and never which someone can experience it because when I think of what I've seen though I was not there, the kind of videos I used to watch partaking to slavery extremely disturbing. But 
we cannot be taken of what our ancestors did. We continue to fight ourselves. That is where I stand. I don't like to be seeing this creating, you know, a lot of problems among us because of what happened 100 years ago. It is extremely disturbing. I have seen people coming after me to say, oh, I'm trying to undermine the slavery, you know, never happened i have never said so in any video slavery was there it happened and i feel the pain you know what our ancestor went through it is not a problem looking into what happened or what is happening in florida Ron the is coming out to say it was a lie that is not what is going on rt because this is true history so to take something and demagogue it like that that's bad faith and here's the thing this was a public process. These guys were going through it. The people could have raised objections. No one said anything about this. They were being lauded for the job that they did by people across the political spectrum. Now Harris comes in and parachutes. What Republicans should have done is push back against her, say, you are operating in bad faith. These guys down in Florida, they didn't have an agenda. They were just trying to shoot straight. We know what the left does. Republicans, you cannot take that bait. You've got to fight back against these people. Yes, you will see it clearly. Ron DeSantis addresses some Republicans and, you know, going after him after this issue. I've seen someone like Tim Scott. It is actually concerning. I understand how this Democrat operated. Now Republicans standing up to join them. It is concerning. Democrat push these gender ideologies in schools and we have been pushing back for a very long time. Now because of issue of history republicans are standing up with them you know to go after wrong the sandwich to me that is not right you cannot just make it up mm -hmm. well you know he it would be he he's kind of like he doesn't want the black vote because he knows he's never going to get it so he right. you know he he says a lot of racist things this is just one of them i'm aware yeah mm -hmm. and so i think that you know he's all about the anti-woke Let, let's get the anti-woke anti-woke people means yeah. You know, whatever black people are talking about, they don't, you shouldn't be listening to what happened. But the history is the history. Right. And the, the country is the country, and we know and what by happened. By the way, Booker T. Washington, one of the great African Americans in history, he was freed uh, at age nine. Mm -hmm. uh, and he worked in mines and as a houseboy before he became, went to school and he mm -hmm. became the great educator that he was. So what did he learn in the mines, I'd like to know? And what did he learn as a houseboy? I'm not sure what, this, what they're talking about. What skills are they talking about that you well, develop well, also in a system like slavery, which was oppressive, the women were raped, the men were tortured, the families were separated from each other. They